It's been nearly five years since a rail disaster devastated the town of Lac Megantic, Quebec. Not a story you could easily forget. 47 people were killed when a runaway train derailed and exploded. Today, the Prime Minister and Quebec's Premier announced a multi million dollar plan to reroute those tracks around the town. CBC's Susan Lunn has the details from Ottawa. Well, first and most importantly, that rail line that runs through the center of Lac Megantic is going to be removed. Those tracks will be removed from the heart of that community, and that certainly is what people there have been asking for uh, for, for a number of years now since that tragedy happened. Uh, the, the bypass will be about 12.8 kilometers long uh, along its proposed route. It's going to cost $133 million thereabouts, uh, paid for by both the province and the federal government. The federal government is going to pick up about 60 percent today you know the federal transport minister said it's actually very rare for a rail line to be moved in this country often picked up uh, by by uh, by local towns and communities when it is moved uh, but not in this case because of that tragedy the cost is going to be picked up by the federal government and by the province and not everyone is happy with the bypass, Susan. What are some of the concerns? Well, certainly in terms of some of the people, Suhana, who have spoken to CBC, one woman said it's going to cut the back of her property in half. Another woman said she has a maple syrup business, yet she's going to lose a, a fair number of her maple trees in this process. Here's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau sort of talking about how, uh, in some ways, it's difficult to make everyone happy. There are... Uh private lands uh, all around this place and there's no question that uh, there are going to be people impacted when you move a rail line. Uh, we have worked with, in consultation with the region, with the municipality, with uh, individuals to try and find uh, the right path, but any path is going to have consequences on some individuals. Any other path would have consequences on other uh, individuals and landowners. So, Suhana, certainly the, uh, the politicians say they tried to find the right balance. Here's Premier Philippe Couillard uh, talking about just the things they really tried to keep in mind when they were picking this, this, this bypass route. You, you, we had to strike a balance. Uh, it, sh it shouldn't be too close because people wanted to move away from the downtown the part of Megantic. It shouldn't be too far because it's all also economically crucial for the, for the country, for, for the region, sorry, for the city, that it remains close to the, industri to the industrial park. Suhana, there are 44 landowners along this route. Uh, you know, it, it, some of them come from the nearby community of Frontenac. Uh, and, uh, and the federal transport minister again today said that they are going to be begin co uh, talking to those landowners, looking for ways to make sure they get, uh, you know, to talk about the value of their property and that they are offered value for the land that they're going to have to cede uh, to the federal government to build this, uh, this rail bypass.